How did we end up having a cat named Ming Ming? Well, it was October 2019 when my husband asked me if we could adopt five cats. I was like, "Are you kidding me? I never owned a cat before, so I was skeptical." But he said that we needed them at the ranch to get rid of snakes. I also heard that cats are mean, stubborn, and bossy. So, needless to say, I was not excited about the idea. But anyhow, we ended up adopting five cats: Papa Cat, Ming Ming's three older siblings, and of course Ming Ming. But I quickly fell in love with with her. She's a very smart. And lovable cat. She loves kids, and she wouldn't even mind when they hold her for a very long time. And also, when I work in the yard, she follows me and stays close by me like a watchdog. She's an indoor cat and an outdoor cat. My husband also adores her so much. I remember he used to say, "No cats in the house." But do you know what ended up happening? He lets Ming Ming stay inside the house. <laughs> But you know what? Ming Ming is no ordinary cat. She is very special. She's a survivor and an incredible cat. Or my husband calls her the incredible, terrible cat who stole our hearts. According to the previous owner, Mimi's mama was a wild cat, kept on getting pregnant, and she wasn't very nice. She ended up killing her other two kittens, except for one. They said Mama Cat carried helpless Mimi and literally dropped her off in front of them while they were outside. Then Mama Cat looked at them as if she was saying, "Here, I don't want her." Take her away, or else. Then Ming Ming was nursed by another cat who have kittens too. And after a few months, we adopted Ming Ming along with the other four cats, Papa Cat and her three older wild siblings. Sadly, one by one they slowly disappeared. Do you know why? Because they didn't trust us. We provided for them, and we wanted to keep them around. But no, they went into the woods and into the unknown, away from our protection. I still wish that they would just come back, or at least I hope that they have found another home. Except for Papa Cat. Sadly, we found him dead in the fields. It was so sad because he was getting used to us. But that's what happened when you go into darkness, into where you're away from your protection. The second week they were with us, one of Ming Ming's older siblings came home limping. She was hurt. Oh, I just wanted to nurse her back to health, but she wouldn't let me get close to her. Oh, how I wish she knew that I was a friend and more like a loving mother to them. I wished that they knew that all of their needs were taken care of, that they didn't have to go into the unknown to find food, that they had plenty, plenty to eat. But no, they didn't trust us. We provided for them shelter and food, and everything they could possibly need. They ate good, but still it wasn't enough. They wanted more, so they went out. The story of our cat reminds me of the Bible story about the prodigal son. The cats wanted their ways and wandered into darkness. Away from our protection, and they perished. 
I wish they knew that they could have trusted us, just like their little sister Ming Ming. The whole thing reminds me of God's amazing love, our Heavenly Father. He provides us with things that we need, but do we trust Him? Our cat Ming Ming is the sole survivor because she believes and trusts us. She listens to us and she knows our voice. And she follows us. So she is cared for and loved by everyone. May their story reminds us that God loves us so very much and He wants to be involved in our lives. He wants what is best for us. He is a great loving Father. So we don't need to struggle going through life fatherless without the Heavenly Father's love. He sent His Son Jesus Christ to save us all from sin. I pray that we will seek Him, know who He is, accept Him, believe in His precious words, and trust Him with all our mind, hearts, and soul, and He will give us rest now and forever. Thank you.